Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elena. Actually, my mom tells me she hates whenever I say my name is Elena. My name is Elena. So, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elena. My husband and I are coming up on three years of trying to conceive. We have been through one round of IVF and a bajillion rounds of an emotional roller coaster. Last video that I uploaded, was a little update seven days past ovulation um, just kind of how i'm feeling feeling some symptoms lots of fun stuff always you know with trying to conceive it's such a a ride of enjoyment not <laughs> ever i wanted to just kind of check in and give a little update i love to sit on my floor and just have a casual conversation with you all instead of a very like formal or scripted video. I don't know what you all prefer, but I kind of just like to feel like I'm chatting with my girlfriend. So I'm just sitting on my floor, just being super cash. So <laughs> this cycle unfortunately was not successful for us. We were very hopeful. In my last video, I mentioned kind of feeling all of the things and I felt all of the things up until 14 DPO and I started my period right on time So a little we are Bummed out that it wasn't our month this month one positive that did come from the cycle is if you are an endometriosis sufferer like myself You know that spotting is So normal and it becomes your normal. You don't even think of it as abnormal like most people would I usually spot four to five days before my cycle starts. It is miserable. It's almost like I have a period for two weeks. It's horrendous. This month, however, I did not spot. My period was, I had the cramps like I usually do. Um, this cycle, I started right on time with no spotting. So it was kind of like a hallelujah. Like it felt so good to kind of feel normal and not be, uncomfortable and miserable for two weeks out of the month versus like the normal like five to seven for a person it was nice to have a normal cycle abnormal for me but normal for other people i have not had a normal cycle in honestly probably since i started my period as a, a little girl the last month like i said was not a successful month we are not pregnant which just sucks and i and I don't know what emotion I'm feeling, a little bit of annoyed, sad, angry. I sometimes, sometimes I'm really good. Um, sometimes I can remain positive and remain hopeful and for whatever reason, the cycle I've just been incredibly bumped out about and it's just, I feel like, I honestly sometimes just feel forgotten in this world of trying to conceive sometimes it is so easy and i do it often i can look at everyone else and feel like their prayers are being answered and levi and i is just there's a wall and we can pray hard and we can dream and we can hope and we can plead and do all of the things and nothing works so i i, I don't know what i'm feeling other than just just bummed out and i'm I'm sad and I am I'm just hurt my heart is so hurt this month and I always try to remain as positive as I can I don't want to be that negative person I don't want to just sit and cry all the time I don't want to be a negative Nancy but sometimes that's easier said than done and I always try to be as open and honest and vulnerable as I can with you all and that's why I'm sharing how I'm feeling Levi and I desperately, desperately dream and long and just wish to be parents so bad and it's a void that cannot be filled with anything else. It's a hopelessness that cannot be fixed with anything else. It's a loneliness and a brokenness that it just cannot be healed um, by anything other than just reaching that 
finish line of being parents. Just feel like we are swimming this marathon and everyone else is flying past Levi and I and we are just treading water. I see everyone else's lives moving forward and they're making progress. I have friends that are having their second baby. Um, I've had friends that are working on their third baby. Um, job changes, vacations, buying new homes, and Levi and I are just kind of stuck where we are. Infertility treatment is ridiculously expensive, so we can either pay thousands of dollars for a baby or we can pay thousands of dollars to go on these vacations and buy a new house and do all of the things that normal people in the early years of marriage are are supposed to be doing and are doing and Levi and I cannot like it's such a crappy feeling to feel like you have to choose between living your life and waiting around on one fertility treatment to work and it's a miserable feeling and unless you have been in that situation you have no idea what it feels like to just feel stuck and like you're not going anywhere. I feel like we have been treading water for years and even after paying for IVF, like we're still not any further. Um, and it's just a really crappy feeling. I would never, ever, ever wish this on anyone um, but a part of me wishes that all couples had to go through some level of infertility to truly be, be able to sympathize with someone. I always feel that people take for granted what they are able to do, that they're able to get pregnant, that they're able to like try for a baby and it just happened and have that excitement. I think that even after going through infertil even after going through infertility, once we get that positive pregnancy test, I still don't think these emotions will stop because there's such a level of wanting to hold on to that. And you don't want to lose that. <laughs> that's your first positive test. That's the first time whatever it may be that you are pregnant and there is such a fear of losing that I would I just wish people understood and could put themselves in my shoes and I don't want to get so political but there's like an uproar on social media about pro-life and pro-choice and honest it's such crap that's going around it's frustrating and it's saddening it's disgusting to me and I just think that on top of starting my period this is an unsuccessful cycle we're still waiting to trains for this last embryo has just been a lot for me and it's just life sometimes I guess so I am just in a, a valley and soon I will come upon a hill. I just wish that there were longer highs than what seems to be a long, a long, long low. I don't know, it's just been a, a really sad week and I just, I, I just want a baby <laughs> so bad. <laughs> And I just want to be a mom and to watch Levi be a dad and to have family traditions and plan family trips and to know what it's like to have sleepless nights and to know what it's like to plan a baby shower and a first birthday and a second birthday and I don't know, I just, I, I dream of those days so heavily and um, I know that one day will be our day and uh, I know that our prayers are aren't being blocked I know that there's purpose behind our pain and I know that there is a bigger picture that I am not able to see but sometimes being in the middle of that big picture it feels really crappy and it feels very lonely and 
and I'm just ready to see that big picture. One day we will get there and I cannot even imagine <laughs> that feeling. And I can't imagine how freaking spoiled this child is gonna be because this is a dream. <laughs> it's bigger than a dream. I don't even know what the word. Three years in the making and this baby, whenever we get there, will be absolutely cherished beyond anything and will be spoiled rotten and I just I'm so excited for that time to come and until then we will keep fighting and we will keep praying and we will keep believing and I will not stop until we get there <laughs>